So this video is still on the chapter of Matrix Algebra and we are still doing uh, the uh, matrix multiplication. Uh, in the previous videos we have been uh, checking some properties of matrix multiplication, namely these four, and in the previous video we provided proofs for property number one and property number two. Well, for property number three, uh, property number three is really easy and um, very exquisite, very special. There is a small detail here, because the thing here, the thing here is that A on property 2, we had a times b plus c is equal to ab plus ac. At the end of the day, this proof will be the same, right? Because this is a right distributive law. It's exactly the same. Instead of a multipli multiplying on the left, now we have a multiplying on the right and basically is the same. It is the same. It is the same because in the field of scalars there is no difference between left and right multiplication. So it's not due to matrices but the proof is exactly the same. You just use the fact that the field of scalars is commutative. Okay, that's because uh, the field is commutative, the field of scalars, okay, not the field of matrices, there's no field of matrices, that doesn't exist, mm -hmm. it's the field of scalars, just recheck the proof for two and see that you can exchange, okay, okay, let us move to four, the proof is really easy because k times ab, it will be k times the sum from aIr brj, but k can come here, right? So that's the same as sum of k a i r b r j. So this equality is proved here. And it is also the same because k, this is scalar multiplication, right? So k can come here now. So that's the same as sum of a i r k b r j. So this one is this one. Okay, so the force property is also proved. Okay, just want to give a quick example for those that are checking the properties of uh, uh, matrices operation. So you are checking that the product of uh, matrices is uh, associative, there is a left distribution from multiplication to adding and the right distribution to and you have scalar multiplication so k times a b is equal to k times a times b and is equal to a times k b uh, probably some that are not used to this are looking for the property that says that a b is equal to b a i said that in a previous video this is not true because the ring of matrices is not a commutative ring so usually for the student this is the first ever non-commutative ring that he sees before his eyes okay so i'm going to give a, a quick example for this to be totally clear I did this very quickly, please check my my calculations. I think this, this might be correct. So I thought about this, major, or I, I got these examples from an old book that were here somewhere. So uh, matrix A, matrix B, and if you perform AB, you get 16 minus 6 minus 2 minus 5. And if you perform BA, you have 4, 24, 5, 7. So AB is not the same as BA, okay? Because this is not, uh, matrices are not a commutative ring. Uh, 